Hey, Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 and 2 is like this super chunky word nugget, and it's full of hope and encouragement, and it's just, just really good words to help us get through life, help us get through the day. Check this out. Let me read it to you. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you, O Israel, the one who formed you. He says this, do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. This was written originally to Israel. And God is, is just expressing his unshakable, very personal love for his people and, and the huge benefits of that love. He's letting them know, I'm not distant. A lot of times we think God is some impersonal, cosmic force or something, and he's not. He's very personal, very involved in the lives of his people, and that's what he wants to communicate here. If we become his people by faith, we get in on the same love. We get in on the same personal touch. God created us, but then humanity rebelled and things got a little crazy. Things got crazy out of whack, but God bought us back. He ransomed us. We belong to him. We are twice his. He made us, but then he lost us because of, of humanity's stupid choices, but then he bought us back. So we are twice his, okay? Now, now he knows us by name. He knows each one of us by name. We be belong to him. There is something so affirming about someone actually knowing you by name. When you walk, you know, into a room and somebody calls out your name, there's something that just just causes joy to explode within you when somebody knows you by name. You are known. There is power in being known. And and this verse lets us know when we go through pain, when we go through trouble, when we go through suffering, we will not be destroyed because he is with with us and that's good news because sometimes the river of dreams becomes the river of difficulty and we go through difficult times we go through hardship we go through times of, of fire and and that's not any fun but we're never alone because of this god knows us God knows you by name. You are not forgotten. I don't know what you're going through right now, but you need to know this. You are not forgotten. You are not overlooked. Okay? You are not invisible. The maker and maintainer of all things knows you. He knows your name. He knows everything about you. He is obsessed with showing you his love. He is obsessed with, with pouring his love out on you. He knows everything about you. He knows how many freckles you have. He knows how many hairs are on your, your head or in your chullet or whatever. He knows you. He, he knows what's best for you. So trust him. He is not distant. He is up close and personal. We have a God who is very personal and wants to be involved in our lives, wants us to be involved in what he is doing. So, so just realize that. Take, take hope in that today. No matter what you're going through today, God knows you by name. No matter how forgotten you feel, no matter how you feel overlooked or feel like people have passed you over for this or that, that promotion or this or that, or people have, have, have not even noticed that you were in the room, God has noticed. God has seen you. God has known you. He loves you with a love that, that is obsessive, with a love that can turn everything around. No matter what you're going through, you can get through it because he's with you. God bless you. Giddy up.